Hey, uh, welcome back everybody. So, um, this is a little update on my home node that I built over here, uh, my Meshtastic home node, where I've got a little LCD screen, I've got a button, I've got um, the uh, USB at the back, but I've, uh, the update is I've added, you'll see an extra little component over here, and I haven't connected it up yet, but I will do so uh, uh, shortly. As, um, as you know, this is uh, the little mini um, a Mestastic node from, um, from Seed Studios, S-E-E-E-D Studios, and uh, that's what's in there. Um, and, um, you know, this case, you can break it out like that. And you can see there is the little uh, node and uh, I brought out the uh, I2C um, wires, and you can watch the other video to see how to connect those. But um, so I have a video on, on this little node, uh, that's the Bluetooth antenna there. But what I'm going to do as an update, I am going to add this little thing, which is a BME 680, and it is an environmental monitor. So um, I'm going to add that to the I2C bus um, over here and uh, let it go in here and then go to the monitor of a little screen. But um, what these give us is, um, you know, temperature and humidity. And I've used the BME 280 in the past, but the difference between the BME 280 and the BME 680 is that the 680 provides us um, also air quality. So it does temperature and does humidity and um, uh, I think air pressure, but the BME 680 adds air quality. So um, for my little home node, I can then measure air quality. What I did is I uh, made a little hole in the back and I made it come out um, the, the BME and you'll see in a picture of it, has this little protrusion that has the chip on it. So I've made it come out the back. Uh, you know, a common problem with these is if you put them inside of the, 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 the case or inside of a housing, it's measuring the temperature inside of here. And with a little processor like, uh, you know, this uh, Meshtastic node over here, uh, ESP32S3, things can get warm inside of here. So the reading you get is, you know, from inside the enclosure. So what I've tried to do is um, put it so um, the little, uh, um, uh, um, you know, chip the, the, that does the measurement is on the outside. So when I clip this together like this, um, that goes in there, you'll see that it protrudes out the back and um, it, um, uh, you know, will measure the air quality and the temperature on the outside. So uh, let me go ahead and, and get that connected. And uh, then let's see if we can uh, share that information via Meshtastic over the Mesh network um, and um, on the mobile app. So let's get that going. Okay, so there we have it. I uh, have now soldered that in. There we can see the little um, sensor of a BME 280 sticking out the back. You can actually see it at the back there. Um, and um, it's measuring air quality. So um, we can see on the screen over here, we can see that it shows you, uh, temperature 75. And that's obviously in, in the office 75. 40 humidity, 1024 uh, Pascal, whatever, uh, uh, atmosphere, atmospheric pressure, and then um, IAQ of 48. Now, I just restarted this guy, so it takes a little bit of time. It has to go through a few readings to get, get right. It's usually about 50 in the office here. Um, and that stands for indoor air quality. Which it's interesting that they say indoor air quality, not just air quality. So that's what the IAQ stands for. So I can now see it on my little node over here. And again, this is just a, uh, a, a normal um, uh, a seed 
little uh, uh, S3 in the back there, like I showed earlier. But I've enabled um, the display now. So, um, and that's done if you go into the app. If you go into, uh, and, and you can see it over here, of course. I'm connected to the seed home at the moment. And you can see the air quality of 48. When you connect it to it via USB, it refreshes every uh, 60 seconds. Otherwise, uh, you can set it. And, but you can see the, the values changing over there. Um, if I go into the node, more details. There I can see the gas resistance, the air quality, all of that details from this node, from that little sensor on the back. And of course, um, this information is also sent out over the mesh network. If, if you enable that, you can read that from another node somewhere else, this kind of information. So um, it also draws a little graphs. You can see the graphs here of, um, you know, as I've been playing with it, humidity, air quality, and temperature, how that's changing in the office over here. So how this is configured is um, if you go into the radio and you go to, I believe, uh, 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 telemetry, of course. I've enabled the air quality over here. Um, enabled that air quality. Um, I've enabled, um, you know, to show on the, on the screen. There's uh, 1,800 seconds for update. To the mesh and the environment is every 600 seconds and the air quality is every 600 seconds that's how often it would publish that to the mesh network um, so that's the settings over there but i wanted to uh, try this a little bit and uh, uh, go in here and um, uh, um, and do the old uh, cigar test so um, we can see that currently the iaq is at 32. Okay, so let's blow some smoke around the sensor. Sorry for the smoke. Um, I'm going to get some lashings for that. But um, let's see if it updates. And there you can see the immediate jump in the air quality sensor has now jumped up to there. So air quality has now gone to 189. And if I look at the logs, you can see that it's red over here 189 up from 32 to 189 because i have a cigar in the house see i have proof now that it's bad now um, you can see that it's now updated and you can see that it's coming down again so it's now down to 164 it was at 189 now 164 and like i say if you connect it via your smartphone this is going to update every uh, 60 seconds so we have about 30 seconds left and let's see if it drops even further now that I've taken it outside. Oh, actually there it's updated already and we can see it's coming down. It's now in the yellow range. So um, this definitely does work. This information, like I said, is sent out over the, uh, you can send it out via the uh, uh, Mastastic network. Um, I made the role of this node a sensor now and that just means it's a client but it also prioritizes sensor information. So if it had to choose, I guess, between forwarding packets and stuff, it's first going to do the sensor work before it does anything else. So, uh, yeah, there we have it. My uh, little home node now containing a, uh, a little sensor at the back. Um, that's actually on the inside. Um, on the I2C, I'll put diagrams on, on how it's done. But thanks for watching and um, that was a fun little experiment. Thank you.